Rahman Rahim Ati Allah Ati Rasulullah Amri Minkum and always a reminder for myself and Abdul Raji so da'ifu, miskeen, uzaar, mujahad and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah Allah granted for us to enter into this holy month with the dress of Surat al Yaseen and that to open its immense realities and that again further defining the fire of Tahseen. As we draw near to this flame of the Divinely Presence, Anjumana Atishagun the beautified flame, the beatific flame and to enter into their anjuman, into their association, Allah further defines the flame with the dress of Surat al Yaseen which is the heart of Holy Qur'an and is the name of Sayyidina Muhammad Yaseen and Habibullah that by Yaseen Allah further defines Habibullah, the beloved of Allah So means this flame is a flame of ishq and love. Taha and Rasulullah is the messengership of Sayyidina Muhammad Means that the Habib of Allah the love of Allah is a flame. Hence the burning heart and the symbols of a burning heart have to do with this Divine Love and entering into that Divine Love and Allah gives to us this realities of Ya and Seen and the immensities of that and just to understand one reality of it is the Ya for Yaqeen and that we want to enter into the Seen and the only people who can enter into this reality because this Ya and Seen is that we want to enter into this oceans of the seer and the secret of Allah the Divinely secrets of Allah the secret of light and the light of all secrets. And the Ya is for the Yaqeen and certainty and the Seen for Sami. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Means the one whom is all hearing and that the one whom represents this certainty of hearing is the one whom represents Allah So means the name Yasin stands for many, many infinite realities. One of those understandings is the certainty of a Sami, the one whom hears. Means the why of Prophet why is he the chosen messenger? Why is he the highest messenger of Allah And because Allah created that soul as a means to hear His Divinely Presence. Not everything hears the Divinely Presence because the Divinely speech is a frequency. And Allah gives Ayatul Kareem and Qur'an that if we reveal the Qur'an if we speak which is the Qur'an to a mountain, the mountain will become dust. Now we know 
that sound and speech and frequency is all energy. And Allah giving to us an understanding through Qur'an, Divinely speech is not an easy energy to carry. You can't even carry the sounds that have come through mechanical devices. If they turn a frequency too high, your ear begins to tremble. If they turn it too low, your ear can begin to bleed. Imagine frequencies that can shatter you, they shatter objects because everything resonates at a frequency. If you find the frequency of an object and they reverse the wave of that frequency and send it back, they can alter the object. So just basic science of it, people can go and research more of the science of it. Every resonance it keeps the structure of an item. When they find what that resonance is and they reverse it, well it goes into the structure and begins to pull it apart. And Allah is giving that if I speak and give my Qur'an to a mountain it would be dust. But it's revealed to the heart of Prophet and stands firm. So means then this has a immense reality that Allah and it's not after the fact that it's been told, it's before the creation that Allah is a hidden treasure wanting to be known. So when He planned it all out that I want to be known well I have to create something that can contain my resonance, that has the ability to contain my frequency without it shattering. So means in the building block of creation coming into existence, this formula was understood that Allah is going to speak, this soul must have the ability to contain that frequency and that's what we call qul. Allah's speak frequency is qul, qaf wal Qur'an al majid lam is the lisan al haq. So qul, when you see qul in Qur'an it's Allah's speech. So we just defined Allah's speech, if He says, I speak to the mountain, reveal my Qur'an, it will be shattered. Then nothing can contain qul, qul is not for you and me. Allah is not speaking to you when He says qul, Allah is not speaking to an angel when He says qul because they can't contain it. See this is how the spiritual dalil of, of realities reveal themselves. That Allah gives to us that, that my speech is a frequency, I have created a light by which I will be known. And that reality is the only reality that can contain my speech. At its core and its essence in the very heart of that soul it can contain the speech of Allah in what we call manzil Qur'an. From the heart of Prophet is emanating the Holy Qur'an. The only one who can contain the qaf wal Qur'an al-Majeed, qaf and qudra and quwwah and power all the same because Qur'an is power, qaf is quwwah and, and power. It means Allah just not everything can take a, a power from the pure source, it was not created to take. So then in electronics we have step down, that there's a power coming out and then there's a step down transmissions or transistors they take from a very powerful source and they begin to reduce it to acceptable levels for the audience that it's going to receive. So power plant, at the center of the power plant if you plug in your TV it blows up. 
millions of kilowatts being produced or hundreds of thousands of kilowatts and say, I'm going to now plug my TV right here. No, it would blow up. So this understanding of energies, they must become reduced for the audience that will receive it. The one whom is receiving from Allah an ocean of tawheed in oneness because it goes from La ilaha illallah, so then who can receive without any intermission or any breakage in the flow? It's an uninterrupted phrase, La ilaha illallah from the hair of Allah to the meme of Muhammad becomes Muhammadun Rasulullah. So means the quwwah of Allah flows to the level and to the highest capacity known as Muhammadun Rasulullah The power that Prophet takes no other creation can take and Allah gives to us an understanding because we're in the part of… we're in the oceans of creation. So He says, I'm give my speech to the mountain. So you think about the biggest mountain on your creation, Mount Everest because He wants us to understand relative to our creation and our existence that if my speech comes to what you know is big like mountains it would become dust. Don't think my speech goes to everyone. There are intermediaries that take the energy that they are capable of receiving and not everybody is equal, it's not communism in the heavens. To each their degree and darajat. So our life was to come to this earth to increase our frequency. So the more our spiritual practices, the more our meditation is what? Is, is increasing your spiritual capacity. Because if your vessel for energy is a styrofoam cup, as soon as you pour this liquid gold it melts everything. They can't and they don't have the capacity to take that energy, to take a frequency that comes to them a nazar or fires that comes to them. Whenever we're talking about emanations and lights and the, the gaze of Prophet to come to them, those are energies. So how do you send 10,000 kilowatts on your handheld device? When they send too much energy they're saying the phones are heating up now because these are all for us to understand that our life is to increase our capacity to receive energy, to increase the frequency of our energy. When we enter into the realities of Yaseen Allah is giving to us the one who has the certainty for hearing the Divinely Presence. Why? Because his soul is created in a capacity that no angel, no prophet, nothing in existence can contain that level of frequency. As a result is hearing is synonymous with carrying the vibration of God. So means we translate these words to common denominators. The one speaking is describing, I have a power when I speak. So then the faculty of hearing is the ability to contain energy because you don't think it's words, oh I can hear what he's saying, I can hear what he's saying, this is not in that level. Allah said, my speech is a qudra and a power. Whatever I speak to has to be able to carry the energy of what that speech is containing of, of power. And Allah defines there's nothing that can contain that except the heart of Prophet So the yaqeen and the certainty of the faculty of hearing and that we want and we are all on a quest of the Sifat al-Sami, the all hearing. When Allah want to dress a servant with Sifat al-Sami, the hearing, 
means what? Your soul capacity has to have been increased because people don't seem to equate hearing with energy. So why can't I just like hear the secrets of the heavens? Can I hear angels? Oh I think I hear angels, they talk… Uh, in this formula what are you talking about? Hearing has to do with your soul's energy capacity. It's not coming as an empty vibration, heavenly hearing and sifat as sami has to do with the capacity of the soul of that servant. The certainty and yaqeen to achieve that rank then has to be their spiritual practices, their energies and all of what we have been teaching. They have to, if they come into this world with a hundred watt capacity, their spiritual practices, their muraqabah, they continuously have to receive energies, why? So that the shaykh can take them to 110 capacity without blowing their fuse, take them to 120 capacity not blowing their fuse. Can you imagine if they didn't have this level of care then the first time you tried to meditate you would have died because you hit an energy too hard, too heavy and you're out. Many people get uh, severe cold and fever and sickness. They go to holy places and immediately they become sick. Why do they become sick? What, is, what does a fever represent? Well modern world they understand fevers, they don't really understand fevers, they try to lower the temperature because they don't understand why you're heating up. So they try to give you a medicine to lower your heating up process because we basically don't understand why you're heating up. But when you understand that you're an energy being, everything about your soul, its functioning is based on your heating. If you don't heat up you're pretty much like a dead person, your heart, its capacity is not functioning because you don't seem to change the temperature of your, your energy level and that's what they want to change. So when they go to maqams, they do spiritual practices, energies and fayas are coming, what happens? The soul is now going from 110 to 220 to 240 to 50, these are like analogies. It's taking on a lot of voltage and a lot of energy and as a result it's more than the physicality is able to contain. And the heating up process is the process of moving energy through the body. It's not necessarily important to try to cool the person down by taking artificial medicines and trying to lower because something is happening in the processes of energy. So before when an individual would heat up they understood that something's happening to the soul because if the body is to be healed it has to be by the cause of the soul. You don't heal the body through the body, inside controls the outside. The outside doesn't function as its own. That's why Western medicine when they lose the thought of the soul it becomes like they're playing with Play-Doh. They keep wanting to put things on top of something physical. Spiritual medicine with Western medicine knows that if we want anything on the physicality to change it has to first change into the soul. <coughs> The soul governs the physicality. When an energy comes upon the soul it immediately begins to heat up. That is the nature of its reality like a light bulb. If you want to see what's in the room you turn the bulb on. <clears throat> when the bulb is on old light bulbs were actually fires, a diya, you would light the oil. They were closer to realities. Now where are we in life? In LEDs means the light became fake. Why? It's symbolic of our existence. There's no more light amongst people, they're LEDs. 
they're violent, horrific, obnoxious, bad character and yet they think they have light. So this is it's symbolic, Allah shows you the signs outside and inside. So spiritual understanding is that my soul its capacity has to increase. The zikrs take place, the meditation, the muraqabah, the shaykhs come, they come. Every time they're coming they're building the capacity, building the capacity until you're becoming heated. You're becoming heated, you're becoming heated, why? So that your energy capacity becomes infinitely more powerful. As a result of that power that soul can now move into the different presences that are required so that they can hear because hearing is based on frequencies, right? So means it has a deep reality. Hearing is not this like, oh let me hear, let me hear, oh, I want to hear the Prophet speak to me, I want to hear God speak to me, is what you're talking about. The faculty of hearing has to be directly linked to the capacity of the soul and its ability to carry the energy. If the soul's energy is weak it can't hear anything. As it becomes stronger it can begin to hear its consciousness. It can begin to hear the inspirations that are coming from those whom are speaking to it. Because when they speak their speech is power. The shaykhs speak people begin to become heated. Rooms association neither time nor distance is relevant to them. As the speech comes energy is flowing because these are associations that are lit up. They're not fake and false associations, they're associations from the soul. So hearing has a direct link to the power of the soul and anyone whom is achieving the yaqeen of hearing means then it has to be based on their knowledges, their spiritual practices, all of that which they're trying to achieve to increase the capacity of the soul's ability to hear. So it's not only the cleaning of my ears, that I keep my ears to be clean, I keep my heart to be clean, I have to build my soul's energy with my muraqabah, with my training so that energy and energy and more energy can flow to me so that I go from a 100 watt bulb to a 200 watt bulb, 500 watt bulb, 10,000 watt bulb. And they become heated every time they meditate, they pray, they do their zikr, they're continuously in a flow of energy and they have to learn how to turn that energy off. And that's why he said they go to maqams, they go to Rosa Sharif, they may go many places. But because they've been trained in energy wherever they go they're going to take on an immense amount of capacity of energies. And many of those will knock them out and put them into a state of a fever. Why? Because the, now the soul is trying to allow the flow of energy to move into the capacity of the physicality of the body in which it's not familiar with and the body doesn't have that ability. So then how were they healing these types of fevers in the past? Was their zikrs, their awrads, the foods that they ate that had a cold nature to it and the fabrics which we described which were linen. A linen fabric on top of somebody helps them process the energies that are coming to them especially during the times of fever. So it means it was always a sign for people that something, a message, an energy is coming through the soul. It's not that something's wrong but it's the soul's ability to heal the physicality or to receive the frequencies, vibrations and messages that are now coming to it. So I don't know if it makes sense to people but in every maqam that has to go there has to be energies coming to the soul. Many times the state can be feverish and energies that sort of overwhelm the physicality so that they can 
take the energy that's coming to them and move now to the next level. <coughs> For that very reason of hearing has to do with capacity. As a result of that Nabi Musa wanted to increase his capacity. because he's hearing and wants to go to the next level of that reality. Not every angel hears everything, not every spiritual person hears the same thing because we just described. These have to do with the darajat of the soul, not just what, can I hear too? No, it has to do that they can only hear to the capacity of their soul. So why we call them archangels and why the angels have their darajat, why? It's because the ability to carry the frequencies that come to it. Those that carry from the angel above, from the angel above, from the awliya above and those that go to the highest levels because their capacity to hear the message that is being transmitted to them from Allah to Prophet out to the holy souls and holy and spiritual beings. Those are all based on the capacity of the souls and how much Allah gave their souls power as a result that's their darajat that they are entitled to hear from that reality. So life was about increasing the capacity. So when he wanted to hear and actually witness the Muhammadan capacity, what happened? Complete reboot because now the soul has to be at a completely different reality. The hearing it and hearing the energy vibration from uh, transmitters, I don't know what they call it in, in energy when they work from energy fields and they have a step down that reduces the transmission, whatever electricians can go back and find out what that's called. But to take the frequency to a higher level not just what is coming as a capacity to you. I mean Sayyidina Musa is an example of Qudra and power and Nabi Musa it symbolizes salam about energy and qudra that to hear from the Divine in a capacity that makes him to be of the six great Prophets of Allah But yet when he wanted to witness the reality he had to have a complete reboot of his reality in which he saw and witnessed that light and the reality of Prophet and had to be completely brought down and rebooted up into his Muslim reality. And the awwal and Muslimin means under the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad So that has a completely different reality and as a result of the complete reboot upon the soul, now the energy and capacity of that soul has much more power. And as a result of that power he wanted to reach to La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah coded in the Qur'an is, I want to reach where the two rivers meet and I won't stop until I reach where the two rivers meet, the river of La ilaha illallah which connects to Muhammadun Rasulullah in which at that point of meeting he met one of Allah's servants under the Muhammadan Sultanat to begin the training and the delivery of these frequencies and these realities in which they operate. And that's why Prophet described that, My ulama, they're waris, they're the inheritors of the Prophets of Bani Israel. Another hadith, they are like the Prophets of Bani Israel. Why? Because they were born in a Muhammadan capacity. That under the nation of Prophet they come directly from the Muhammadan light onto this earth. Not from a different light in which their capacity has to be increased but Allah gave them the gift 
of coming from the Muhammadan lights. So alhamdulillah for those whom are moving towards these realities to reach to the reality of Ya Seen to reach towards certainty of hearing. And that Allah grant us the certainty of hearing which requires the submission of the head and the body to reach towards the capacities of the soul and the energy and the qudra and the power of the soul. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon Salaamun al rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa. Basir Surat Al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Najjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.